Is this what you picture in your head when you plunge your toilet? You're throwing that plunger at the toilet. I mean, lots of air, only to catch the water spraying back in your face. And you don't even clear out the clog. Well, hang tight. We're about to help you out. Hey everyone, this is Lube with Reluctant DIYers. Today we're kicking off a brand new video series that is dedicated to some of those nasty clogs that you might find in your bathroom. That's why I'm standing in the bathroom right now. Specifically, I'll show you a nearly foolproof way of removing a nasty clog from your toilet. Sometimes that plunger just won't get the job done and you need to bring in the heavy artillery. Well, today I will show you exactly how you can operate such and get that clog out of your toilet. Before we go there, I'd like to caution you about some things that you may hear other people recommend when it comes to removing that clog. First, sometimes you'll hear, you'll hear people say, use a hanger. Yes, use a hanger to unclog whatever is in your toilet. I need to make sure that you know that this is never a tool that you should ever use in your toilet. Very specifically, it can ruin the bottom of your toilet because, hey, it's a metal hanger. But B, it can also make the clog worse by pushing it further down if it's not too far up into the toilet. One thing to know about the toilet is the drainage on it is a little bit different than under your sink. If you look at it from a side view, you can see that the trap actually goes up a little bit higher than the bottom of the bowl. Most times when you get a clog in your toilet, it happens between the bottom of the bowl and up into the trap and sometimes beyond the trap. That clo or clothes hanger is not going to make it all the way up there. Second, you will hear people recommend, hey, just use some of those liquid removal tools like Drano or Liquid Plumber. Again, if you look at the shape of the toilet drain, those tools, those liquid tools, have no way of making it up into that trap. That's just not how gravity works. And when you have something that is clogged that hard where the plunger won't pull it out, there's no room for that liquid to do its work. Also remember, if you ever have to go back to the plunger to finish getting rid of that clog, now you're gonna have that liquid coming back on your face. Yeah, not really something that you wanna have happen. So with all of that said, let's get into the way that you can make this clog disappear. One thing that I will say often, having the right tool makes all the difference in the world. When you run into this challenge with the toilet where the plunger just will not do the job, I need to introduce you to my friend, the toilet auger. If you don't have one of these in your arsenal, I suggest you buy one of these bad boys today. Now there are a few key parts of the toilet auger. You'll see at the end here a expanded coil and then you have a handle with a long plastic shaft that covers the remainder of that coil. It runs end to end. Now you'll notice the tip is wider than the remainder of the shaft, but it's all interconnected as one piece. When you go to insert the toilet auger into the toilet, Grab the actual shaft here. There's a, a padded handle. Just grab that firmly with your hand. Grab the handle and turn it clockwise. It's important to remember that because when you turn it, the coil actually turns. Now, if I can hold this steady, you'll see that the coil is turning. And ultimately, this just ends up screwing into the material in the toilet. Now, before you get started with the actual toilet auger, it's important that you grab some supplies. I highly recommend that you grab a towel that you don't care about, some old ratty towel will work, and then grab yourself some rubber gloves because whenever you get to the point where you pull that clog out, you do not want to do it with your bare hands. <laughs> Fair warning, ladies and gentlemen. So grab your gloves, make sure you get them on. Take your old ratty towel and you want to lay this down on the floor right next to the toilet. The reason why this is so important is because when you pull your auger out, it is going to be incredibly filthy after the clog comes out. You do not want to put it right on your floor and if you're going to grab it, you want to make sure you've got a rubber glove on 
but when you pull it out, put it right on that dirty towel so that you don't get anything in the bathroom too filthy. Also, it gives you a place to put some of the things that you pull out of the toilet down. You know, toilet paper and other bits and... But... Did I just say bits and bites in regard to fecal matter? I think I really did. Now, this auger, I'll include a link for the auger that I'm using in the description below as I normally do. And I'll also provide at least one or two other good options that you can choose if you're gonna purchase one. The key with the auger is to make sure that you take the very far end, the springy end, and you want to get it all the way up to the end of the actual shaft of the tool. You don't want to just put the spring in without using the curve, the natural curve of this tool. So what you're going to do is take the tool, bring it into the toilet like so, curve it up underneath into the back, okay, using the curvature of the tool in order to get it started. And then from here, you are going to take the remainder of the spring portion and push it right through the end here so that it will go into the toilet. So let's get her up in here. And when you do so, you're going to get resistance as you get it into the trap. You need to make sure that you just give it a little bit of a push so that it can get in to that part of the toilet. Once you get it all the way in and you feel like you've hit that clog, you want to grab the handle the, the curved portion of the handle and grab the grip on the shaft and start turning. This will then turn the end of the spring inside of the toilet so that you can start to grab, the end of that spring will physically grab whatever is causing the actual clog in your toilet. If you feel like you got the full clog, give her a flush. And then once you finish pulling it out, just take your auger, put it on your towel, and the final piece, and you do not wanna forget this, wash your auger. If you have a utility tub or some other large area where you don't care if it gets really filthy, put this in the tub and get it clean because it is going to be covered with all sorts of things that you don't wanna deal with. Thankfully, not every toilet clog is going to require you to go straight to that heavy machinery with the toilet auger to get the clog out. If you think the issue you're dealing with is not quite that bad, click on the card at the top of the screen and we'll take you to a video where we share some best practices as far as how you can plunge that clog out of your toilet. Now, if you found this video useful and helpful, I would appreciate it if you would mash that like button and we would also love it if you would subscribe to our channel. Until the next time, Keep doing it yourself.